Whether a rink is designed for hockey or speed skating, the ongoing challenge is keeping the surface cold, hard, and above all, fast. One world-class rink, the Utah Olympic Oval in Salt Lake City, stakes a claim as the fastest ice on Earth. It was the venue for the speed skating events at the 2002 Winter Olympiad, and a slew of world records set here have yet to be broken. A massive refrigeration plant keeps the ice frozen. It uses ammonia to cool a thousand tons of saltwater brine to between 15 and 18 degrees Fahrenheit. The brine remains liquid below water's freezing point because its salt interferes with the formation of ice crystals. Beneath the 90,000 square foot surface of the ice, the chilled brine flows through 33 miles of pipe. And these green pipes were bringing brine through and then they're splitting off into smaller pipes which go into the concrete floor underneath the ice. Though state of the art, the Oval's engineering isn't unlike other world-class speed skating rinks. What sets this rink apart is its location. Its 4,675 foot elevation makes it the highest enclosed track in the world. As you might guess, the thinner air helps athletes by reducing air resistance. But it also reduces the amount of oxygen trapped in the ice as it freezes, which makes it a denser surface, ideal for generating speed. The athletes here and at other rinks also get a crucial assist from blades significantly longer than those of figure skaters and hockey players. With these longer skates, you can lean forward without digging your toe into the ice and falling forward. These actually have a hinge at the toe, so when you push with your toe, the back of the skate comes up, which allows your blade to stay on the ice a little bit longer, so you get a little bit extra power at the end of your push. Specialized skates and slick ice enable skaters to reach speeds up to 40 miles per hour. That's the fastest any human can propel himself without mechanical aid. But ice is capable of rocketing us along with a lot more velocity. 